In this video, I'm going to show you how to pull open, make your own monitoring in Genetech, how to show and change cameras or alter views. So first off, uh, I have more activities here than some of you might. Uh, first, we're going to start with monitoring. So monitoring is going to be for monitoring cameras. You may have predetermined views, um, but I'm going to make my own view right now called all cameras. Now you notice here it comes up starts off with a four-way split um, and on the left here is how my office here is set up so I could pull in this is our front door has security on it so I could pull in this camera by just dragging it over I could pull in this other front door and I could pull in the warehouse like so now you can see here everything's at one of the tricks also you can do is hide the logical view here and hide the dashboard giving you more space to view things um, if you just hover over this side it appears <clears throat> for controls um, you can also bring these back so let's say you like this view uh, and you want to save it for later all you need to do is come up here and right click and you see I get a little menu and as long as your permissions are allowed uh, we can restrict you down to not able to change, update, or make changes or add new. But uh, assuming your permissions do, <clears throat> you could do a save as. So we, I currently can save it as a private task or a public task. Um, most of the things that we've assigned for you would be most likely in the public tasks. So I'm going to save it in public tasks, and it just basically told me that. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to close that task to show you what I'm talking about. Over here in public tasks, you can see there's two different ones that was already there and the one we just created. So let's pretend you came in and you looked at this. Now let's say you came in and someone else is sharing this public view and they have the ability to make a camera go away. So what was that? That was just delete. I can also come up here, right click, and clear. Let's say someone did this and you came in here and you right, I right clicked again and saved. Well now I come in here the next time there's only one camera. So how can I fix that? Um, it's very simple. Come in here, grab the cameras, drop it in again. Drop it in. Come up top, right click, save. You, as long as you have the permissions, you've now saved the way this looks. Um, if you'd like to change it to more than four, no problem. Down at the bottom here, change tile pattern. You can change it simply to nine, 16, uh, or if you're so inclined, you can change it to something else that looks more appropriate if you wanted to highlight certain cameras. So I maybe I want to do, uh, since I only have a few cameras, something like this. Um, the other thing is you can have one camera multiple times if you'd like. It does take two streams. Um, it does receive this twice so it is doubling up on your bandwidth that you're using. So you really don't want to do this but what does this enable you to do is to, we've got to come in here go back on a recording. So here's a recording can go back one and look at this camera so this one's still live and this one's a recording see there's me adjusting a camera back in the warehouse and then when I'm ready I can click go back to live view and in a second it'll flip around and go there you go goes to my live view so I don't really want that anymore I can just click and get rid of that maybe I should save this kind of nice view. <clears throat> um, so that's an easy way to change your views. Now let's say you want to just look at a camera. You can come over here, click on this, double click, and it puts it in the yellow highlighted spot. See where I'm at? And the controls on the right hand side follow whatever I'm on. <clears throat> These cameras show their PTZ, but they're not really PTZ. Um, zooming in, doesn't really do anything. Um, if you had a PTZ camera, 
they would be uh, actually doing something over here as well. Um, I'll get rid of that. So let's say you want to, you like this, but it's small, so you want to be able to see it bigger. I'm going to hit E for like expand. And what it does is just pulled up the video in I'm in auto. So it went to the high definition. You there each IP camera has two to six different streams most of the times. Um, usually we set up cameras with two streams, the high definition stream that's recorded and a low definition screen that you monitor all the time that doesn't take CPU. Um, it's very processor intensive to look at multiple cameras at the same time. So we try to limit the amount of data the computer is getting so it does not overload it. So in showing you that, if I right click here and go to camera, select stream, Right now, my security desk is set up for automatic. Uh, I can look at the low resolution stream, and you see how grainy it just got, or camera, select stream, high resolution, and you can see it went to a 16 by nine instead of four by three. It went to a high def picture, and if, if I went larger, now remember, this picture looks this way because it's in an absolutely black, no lights on warehouse. Okay. Um, and when I'm ready to go back to this, I just hit E again to get out of expanded mode. Um, those are quick ways to get around. Now to explain some of the controls over here, I'm going to change my view. Um, actually, I'll just go back to, to this. Right now it's not recording because it's this set camera set up for motion. You can see it's not recording because see recording is off. It would be highlighted a different color if that was the case. Um, you can click thumbnails to pull up a thumbnails of past video. Um, but because I'm monitoring this live, Security Desk records as long as you're looking at it a, a live stream local just in case. So if something happened and you looked at it, you could go back on it. Uh, but nothing did record. And now you notice here, switch to live, goes back to the live view. Now I go that, it pulls this back up, we're ready to go. Um, what I can do is also here, go back to a specific time. So I can click this little clock, and it pulls up, oh, I went outside the recording window, but let me pull it down here. <clears throat> you can zoom in on, okay, let's say July is the 25th, and here's some motion events. So I say right about here. Yeah. Oh, there's me. And going outside. And pulling in a delivery person. Yes, I know the camera's sideways. So if I don't want that, I can pause that and go back again, pulling up a, another day, time, and whatever is happening at that time. You know, it could be nothing, it could just be light changes, it could be whatever. Oh, see, there you go. This is exactly what uh, caused that camera to record. So, again, I can get, click live, and it takes me back to the live view. Um, these are also ways to export the video. You can export from all tiles or from a selected tile. You might be not seeing that, but basically it's saying this one says export video from all the tiles if you had like four up or export video from a selected tile. So I'll do a selected tile and then you can select by clicking here, you can select the, the date and the time. Just note, see right here by default it comes up with an hour. You want to make sure that you select the minimum amount to keep your cameras and their output as small as possible because it's going to be uh, getting big very fast. Up the top here is where is it going to save, so you can click and you know it's going to save to my desktop. Also, um, here is ASF. This is an unencrypted format, and this is something that we play on pretty much any computer. Or, but it's not really applicable for court. Or you can do the G64 format, and that's an encrypted database format specific to Genetech, and it comes with a player and everything in it, and you can't do anything with the video. So. This is good for sending around and evidence, but it's not going to be admissible in court. Uh, if it, you think it's something that's going to do that direction, do both. It doesn't hurt. 
Um, also, what we can do is at the top here, you can pause. You can go back a previous frame if you have recordings. So I can come say here, and I could step back a frame, another frame, frame. Every frame is kind of there's no motion here, so it's not really showing you anything. Uh, you can jump forward different times, as you see, as the cameras was rotating it. It's the next kind of clip. Um, you can also come back here and play in slow motion. So trying to help you see everything that's happening. Uh, and then you can drag and modify how fast this goes, pause, take it out of slow motion. Okay. Um, the last thing I think I'm going to show you here is um, what we can do is modify, we can add a bookmark. So let's say something happened, right? Well, actually, let's do this. Let's come back here and pause right here. Go, okay, rotated camera view. We can protect the video from deleting. Okay, uh, five minutes length for five days infinitely until a certain date, whatever you want. Protect. I'm just going to do that because I don't really want to keep it in five days. The database will get rid of it. Um, and now what we can do is next bookmark, previous bookmark, it will take you through uh, exactly what it looks like here. Um, these are just thumbnails that this thing can look through that you could see if there's something happened, go back on uh, just by clicking. See the timeline down here is moving. See? Um, that's helpful if it's something big uh, that you can easily identify from something, uh, a small little thumbnail. Um, that's, that's pretty much everything down here. And usually you're not going to have audio. Uh, visual tracking, I don't have enabled on my system, so I can't really show it to you. Um, and um, that just put it to full screen for me, uh, which you can't really see. So I am going to. And that's about it for right now. Um, well, uh, this basically took me back, and I can now drop in. I'm going to close this, and you'll see if I open this back up. It saved it because I didn't right come up here, right click and save. So that camera that was deleted from here, I didn't have to do that. Um, and that's about it. That's how you go through all your settings. Uh, and if you want to do a new, a new view, um, that's you can save the workspace. Um, you can easily rename the task if it doesn't make sense right from here. Uh, one maybe one other thing I can show you here is if I come back here, here and do a task and do monitoring uh, one camera. One of the things I can do is say, let's say just add this one for now. I can come up here and say start task cycling. So imagine that you're a front desk doing things. Um, and you wanted to monitor multiple cameras, but you can't fit them all in the one view. This will toggle back and forth between multiple views, and we can set up how often and how much, uh, how long it does it retain on each camera, uh, stuff like that. <clears throat> and the more cameras you have on the page, the longer it takes to load and stuff like that. So this is cycling, cycling quite fast, um, but that's set up on the back end uh, for us. All right, and that's about it. You let me know if you have questions, and I can be reached. Uh, my name's Eric at EAC at myrethink.com, and uh, thanks a lot.